Hey guys, what's up? Austin here, aka Bowtie Guy97. Before I start this video, I've got two things I want to go over. First of all, thanks for the overwhelming response on the uh, video before last that I posted about the uh, windshield tent. At the beginning of the video, we talked about the lift and you know the plans for it and i asked y'all the question about what pieces i wanted the powder coating and i had an overwhelming amount of response i had people dming me on instagram which i do answer those as well my instagram is down below um as well as comments and everybody pretty much gave me their input on it i really appreciate it it was awesome talking to you guys i love answering the comments reading the comments and doing the best i can to always get to every single one um, second is if you haven't already check out the video I posted up yesterday about the trip that we took to Maryland for the YouTube call at Oktoberfest the video is awesome uh, it's great footage of Cletus McFarlane driving Leroy Street Speed 717 Guitar Mageddon ZL1 all those guys it was a great event uh, I I got a whole lot of footage, unfortunately, trying to condense it down. I, I tried to keep it less than 20 minutes. It was like 19 minutes long. It's a long video. If you got the time, check it out. Uh, it, it's a lot of great footage. It took me a long time to get edited, uh, so really appreciate it if you go over there. Like, hit the like button, check it out. It was a cool video. But let's get on to what we're going to talk about today. Today, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you why I hate my mud tires. And this... This, this is purely subjective to me. Um, I have done different tires on this truck since I've owned it. I've had an economy tire, the Michelin LTX. I've had a General Grabber AT2, uh, a Nitto Terra Grappler, the original Nitto Terra Grappler, the Terra Grappler G2s, and now I've had the Toyo Open Country MT. So I've had a good bit of all terrains uh, on this truck, and this is the first mud tire I've had. And honestly, I would not have, I still would not have had a mud tire if it uh, was my choice. But the deal that I got on these tires, I couldn't turn it down. So it, it, the deal was they came with these tires, and they look awesome. I mean, we're, we're, we're going to talk about pros and cons, but the one greatest thing is these tires are awesome. I mean, they look incredible the big lug design all that beefy sidewall and sorry the wheels are dirty because i ain't cleaned them since we were up there in maryland uh so that that is one bonus but let's get into why i personally hate the mud tires i do about 100 to 150 miles a week regular um on interstate that's just the interstate i probably do a whole nother 100 to 200 around town uh, so that interstate driving is annoying with these tires. They are loud, they howl, the faster you go, the louder they are. And I mean, that's to expect with a mud tire. I, I'm not sitting here thinking, oh man, they, they should have made these tires quieter because that's not what they're made for. They're mud tires, you know? They're not made for the highway. They're not designed to be quiet. They're designed to go through the mud, get you out and, uh, you know, tear it up. So they're just, they don't work for me. All that highway miles that I do, it, it is annoying it really isn't at first i dealt with it you know we got to the summer and you know crank the music up have the windows down you know it, it, they looked good it really didn't bother me now that we're getting into winter and the windows are rolled up and i'm heading up on more trips it's <laughs> it really starting to bother me because i can't it's hard to hold a conversation in the truck because you're yelling because the tires are so loud you know, like the trip we just took up to Maryland, you know, 10 hours of going over 70 miles per hour on the interstate, it it really, really got to me. I, I really, I'm really kind of done with it. Um, they, it's just, I'm, I'm sticking with them till the spring because that's when I'm going to get the new wheels and tires. But they, they honestly are just, they're driving me insane. Now, it's not just the noise that has bothered me with them the uh the ride has suffered severely when i switched from the g2s to these tires the ride went way down it rides it doesn't quite ride like a tractor trailer but it it, it rides pretty rough i mean it, you're you're feeling every single bump in the road and uh it has a little bit of road walk and i thought at first maybe it had something to do with the uh the alignment on the front of the truck but i had the alignment checked and i had to check again and then i rotated them around and i just i don't know what it is it's at high speeds it's got to walk you know it's kind of a little to the left a little bit of the right um and 
that there could be more factors to it you know i've done all new ball joints and everything else in the front everything's tight everything's good and she still she still has got that walk and you know from what i've read the mud tires they're known to do that you know you don't have the type of surface contact that you have with an economy tire or an all-terrain tire you know you've got all this space that never contacts the uh the asphalt so that's one thing that's the second thing the third thing is traction I had the chance to take them up in the mountains this past summer and they did awesome. There were some spots where when I used to have terra grapplers in the same spots, I used to have to put it in four wheel auto just to keep from continuously spinning. My truck would make it. But it was one of, you know, a lot of those tight S pins where you you lose all your momentum and you gotta make a sharp turn up gravel and loose gravel and you'd spin. Not with these, man. They did awesome. They gripped that gravel in the dirt and I mean tore it up all the way up the mountain they did way better than an all-terrain so off-road performance definitely going to give it to them uh you know wet grass stuff like that i'm up in my yard a lot pulling out trailers and everything else uh, there'd be some times where if i'd head up the hill i'd get a spin before my locker locked i mean i don't think the locker needs to lock really with these tires anymore they do awesome off-road but that's what they're designed to do so there is the there's a benefit um but that leads me to the on-road traction which is not the same story they do they do not do they, do, they don't do good uh they do better than i thought they were gonna they really do and i think i give that to toya the rain performance is is really good for a mud tire and traction on asphalt is it is really good um it's it's not that they're spinning all the time and that i can't ever get traction but in my case and this refers back to what i said at the beginning of the video this is purely subjective and this is me i drive the truck pretty hard i'm constantly in the throttle i mean i see somebody at a stoplight somebody's looking at the truck revving it you better bet i'm gonna punch it uh with these tires if i punch it and especially now that it's getting cold it lights them up i mean we're spinning all the way through and they'll even chirp coming from uh first to second <laughs> they'll spin if i'm if it's cold i know we've now that it's gotten colder and the built transmission we've got in it it uh it will it'll it'll lock them up and chirp going in from first to second so you know on-road performance with them is good for a mud tire but not what i want now uh for for what you may do say you're say you live up a dirt road or you only drive like 20 miles or less to work every day in town uh and then you're an off-road warrior on the weekend always up in the hills oh yeah i i, I you definitely should go and buy these tires because uh toya did a great job they're they're a little bit pricey but they've been an awesome tire and they have worn awesome i've got almost 15 to 20 thousand miles on these tires and they they are doing i mean just check this out i'm coming to the back because i was talking about these spinning it it's not they're they're doing awesome the tread wear is phenomenal on them way better than i thought it was going to be so my expectations have been exceeded from when i bought them but they uh I, i'm just dissatisfied because of what i'm trying to use them for it's not working um, I, I'm not gonna sit here and say that I'm not a that it's not a mall crawler truck. It really kind of is. Uh, <laughs> she stays on the highway and the road. I've got no problem going off road with it. Obviously, like I said, we go camping, we go up in the mountains. I'll tear it up, you know, run it up gravel roads, uh, dirt, you know, a little, little bit of mud, not crazy mud. Uh, throwing it in a ditch it's, it's not really a big deal but i'm not out there every weekend like i used to with it so there, there's no need for me to have the tires um, i think the route i'm gonna go coming up here this spring which i know i keep talking about and i'm waiting for the right time to tell y'all what the plan is i think i'm gonna do the nitto ridge clap ridge grappler which is the rt rugged terrain tire uh it's the mix between the trail grappler and the uh terra grappler so that'll still give me the aggressive look but also give me better highway uh performance and not be as loud so if you were uh if you were looking to do a mud tires and maybe you're on the fence i hope this answers some of the questions you guys got uh this again like i said purely subjective and it's going to depend on what you're using your truck jeep or whatever you're putting the tires on for uh but for me and what i do they just they just don't cut it um 
and but I'm no way knocking Toyo or the mud the uh, open country at all been a fantastic tire I uh, appreciate y'all watching as always hit the subscribe button like and comment I try to answer all the questions like I said at the beginning of the video check out the other videos on the channel take care have a great day